Today we're turning into Chucky and guys this look took me 15 hours. 15 hours. In a, no break, no nothing, I done it straight. So as always we are starting on the body. Now the reason I start on the body not the head because like I said it, take, it took me 15 hours and a good 12 hours of that was the body paint. So that's why I always start on the body because I know it's going to take me the longest. The reason I do so much detail in the body paint is because that is what makes the look. You could do an awesome body paint detail and the head could look like average and it will still look pretty decent. So once I laid down the basic colors and the basic lines for Chucky, like there's not many lines on his clothing, which is good. I then started on the collar. I always find it easy to get the collar out of the way first. I feel like it's like the least detailed area and it kind of feels a bit more complete. Like when you do that, I don't know, that's just me. So the only probably downside to Chucky is his top. It's like stripes. <laughs> But that's, it wasn't too bad. I ended up having like five different brushes with the colors and I just like, I done it a lot easier. I've done this look in the past and in the past I actually drew the lines on like with the white paint and then filled that in. This time I just grabbed the brush and I just went straight across. It was so much easier and quicker. After that to blend in the sharp lines that you can see, I grabbed a like feather brush and I had a little bit of water and white paint on there, like the smallest part of white paint and I brushed in between the lines. And then I went ahead and just with the white paint still on a different brush, I went ahead and put the detailing on there and then we were up to shading. Now shading is where this look just went to a whole new level. If you look at it now, it's kind of like, it looks like a Christmas Chucky sweater. I know. <laughs> But this shading honestly took it to a whole nother level. I wanted to add more dimension to his actual play suit or jumpsuit, whatever you would call it. So with the line work, I actually went in and added the lines in on the collar and not the collar, like the straps. And honestly, I feel like that changed the whole game too. I swear to everything I did, it just kept leveling up each time and at the end i was shocked i was like i done that like i done that it's honestly my favorite piece i reckon so also with his clothing i wanted to make it ripped i didn't want it to be put together all nice and tidy so I, I you can see there's a gap and that's where it's meant to have like that tear look effect you know what i mean <laughs> With any detail that you do in any clothing, make sure you add highlights. So as you can see, I'm adding in like the white stitching or even if you've got stitching, I do it white. It just makes it pop. If you do have really dark colors though, I'd probably do like a very like whitey gray. Um, but just make it light. It honestly looks so much better. So with this look, I started around like lunchtime. I probably... 1 p.m. in the afternoon and I ended up finishing at like 3 or 4 a.m. in the morning <laughs> and I done it with no sleep which is all the way through I think I threw in like an energy drink in there somewhere I ate so much food because when you are so tired you just you need energy so moving on to the face I ended up using a scar wax and I was so tired at this point, I kind of just wanted to throw it on and get it over and done with and just move on. And previously, I haven't worked with scar wax much, but I've worked with it a bit more now. So with the scar wax, basically what I've done was I held it there and I blended it into the skin. I would now would recommend putting liquid latex down first and then putting it on and then blending his skin. Once I had the scar wax on, I put some like slits into it to make it look a bit more cutty. 
added some shading into it and this is the final look. Hope you guys enjoyed, don't forget to subscribe, give this video a big thumbs up if you like it and I'll see you in the next one, bye! Thank you.